Hey guys, welcome to another video here on Food Chain TV. So you're at the grocery store and you want to choose the perfect, most juicy, delicious cantaloupe, but you're not sure how to do it. Well, I'm going to share the five steps or the five things that you need to look for to choose that perfect sweet cantaloupe. Stay tuned. Now, before we get started, I just want to point out that these ones here are actually called Eastern cantaloupe, okay, and they're also called musk melon, and um, they're different from the other ones that we normally get during the year from the West Coast. Those are called Western melons, and they're the really round, really pretty looking ones, okay, but these are different. These are the Eastern cantaloupe, so today we're talking about the Eastern cantaloupe. So the first thing that you want to look for is the color. Now they should be beige, some of them can be a little brown, now they should not be green, and they shouldn't have any black or green mold on them, that's for sure. So keep in mind that eastern cantaloupes are ugly, and western cantaloupes are pretty. So these ones, you know, they don't have to look like little supermodels. The second thing that you're going to look for is the netting, okay? All that rough stuff on the outside of the melon skin, that's called netting, and when you rub it, it should feel pretty rough. Okay, if it's smooth, that means the melon is, uh, it's still not ripe enough. A, a ripe melon will have a pretty rough netting. So, uh, you know, just sit there and, and just rub the melons. And if people look at you, you just, you just keep on rubbing your melons, okay? The third thing that you're looking for after you're finished rubbing your melons is the stem. Now, the stem should be indented. It should go into the cantaloupe somewhat. So you should be able to, you know, stick your finger in it and you're looking for that little indentation. That's another sign of a nice ripe melon. The fourth thing that you're looking for is the weight of the cantaloupe. You should choose a cantaloupe that seems almost a little too heavy for its size. So, you know, you just pick them up and feel them. Um, a lightweight cantaloupe is either still green or it's too old and dried out. So you want heavy, okay? Heavier is better. So the fifth thing I'm gonna tell you is actually the most important indicator of a juicy, sweet, ripe melon, and that is how it smells. A musk melon or an eastern cantaloupe, you can smell that thing across the room. I mean, just pick it up, smell it. It has so much aroma that it will almost tell you, like you can almost smell what it's going to taste like, okay? So if you do nothing else, at least smell it. In the next part of this video, we're going to go to the kitchen, and I'm going to cut a couple of these open, taste them for you guys, and then I'll show you how to cut them. Okay, so we're in the kitchen, and we have these two eastern cantaloupes that I rescued. I brought these little guys home. Uh, and now we're gonna dig into them and see what they're like. So, I got two of them, okay? They both have the same characteristics, except for a couple of things, okay? This one here has got a little bit of uh, brown spots, as you can see, this one here is cleaner looking. Um, however, this guy here smells amazing. I could smell this guy clear across the store, so I had to bring him home. This one smells pretty good, don't get me wrong, but this one here, very, very aromatic, okay? so. Again, both very heavy, both rough, both have that little indentation right here, okay? Both have very nice coloring, but this guy smells so good. All right, so let's start with him, and we'll give him a taste test, and then I'll show you how to cut them. All right. Wow. If we had smell-o-vision, you guys would be very pleased right now, okay? So let's, um, oh man, look at this. So I'm going to dig into this. So right away I noticed this is very juicy. It smells amazing, okay? And let's take a taste. Wow. Mm. Okay. Very juicy, very sweet, nice and soft. This is one good melon. All right, so before we get into uh, how to cut this and clean it up and everything, let's cut open the other melon. It looks a little, it looks a little neater, and it smells good, but it doesn't smell great like the other one here. All right, so we're just gonna. Here's the top, by the way. So from this angle, you can see it better. Okay, we can cut it this way, straight down. Okay, so this one looks a little neater but let's dig into it okay it's nice and soft it is juicy let's take a little ta little taste here wow i'm surprised this guy tastes great but 
this proves my point. If you follow my five guidelines, you will get a really nice melon. Now, how to cut a nice melon. First, we're just gonna get a spoon and just scoop out the seeds, just like that, nice and easy. And by the way, those of you who are into gardening like me, here you go, free seeds. These will actually probably grow into a nice melon if you plant them. Okay, so I'm gonna take a bowl here and just empty out these seeds. All right, now we're gonna cut these into wedges like this. And then you take a nice sharp knife. I use my chef knife for everything. Okay, take the rind off. And now you're left with a nice little wedge of cantaloupe. And you just cut them just like that. And while you're cutting it, you can also eat them. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, so juicy. Alright, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. The more subscriptions, the more thumbs up that I get from you guys, the more I'm able to spend time making these kinds of videos just for you. So, thank you very much for your support, and I will see you in the next video. Happy cantaloping!